As global wheat prices scaled record highs this year, in part due to the Russia-Ukraine war, bread makers in India turned to multiple price increases. Today, a loaf of sliced brown bread costs 50 rupees, while multi-grain bread costs 65 rupees. This is said to go up further. India's wheat stock in the central pool has fallen to barely over the buffer norms. The Food Corporation of India, which maintains stocks of wheat and rice in the central pool, is required to maintain a minimum quantity of the grains at the beginning of each quarter to take care of operational requirements and exigencies at any point of time. For wheat, this number is 27.58 million tons for the July to September three-month period. Latest data shows that the stocks of the cereal maintained by India's Central Grain Procurement Agency as of July 1 are 28.51 million tons. This is due to the fall in procurement by Food Corporation of India and a decline in production in the 2021-22 crop marketing year. Usually, July 1 sees the peak stock levels as maximum wheat is procured in April, May and June. The last time wheat stocks in the central pool were lower than this on July 1 was back in 2008. In FY23 so far, the FCI has spent 37,852 crore rupees to procure 18.78 million tons of wheat down nearly 59% from the same period last year. The procurement target has been revised downward to 19.5 million tons from the earlier 44.4 million tons. Last year, the government spent 85,600 crore rupees buying a record 43.34 million tons of wheat from farmers. This time, farmers chose to sell their wheat crop to private traders who offered prices higher than the minimum support price. Lower purchases by FCI, in turn, mean big savings for the government. Another reason for lower procurement is the drop in wheat production due to a sudden rise in temperatures in mid-March. Wheat production in the 2021-22 crop season ended June has been estimated at 106.41 million tons according to the third advance estimates. The government had initially forecast this year's wheat output at a record 111.32 million tons. So my assessment on all this is that wheat prices are going to uh, increase. This is because FCI will not immediately offload its stock in the open market yet as the, they need to maintain the buffer stock norms. As farmers already preferred selling to the traders due to high market prices and with the export ban, private stock with traders are already high. What this means is that millers will need to buy from the traders and prices will be inflated. It will further rise with the an uh, upcoming uh, festive season when demand for wheat is high and higher prices will also encourage farmers to sow more area under wheat and we don't have similar heat wave conditions like this year then there will be higher production next year with the increased acreage government of india would also like to procure more if they are extending the garib kalyan yojana you know after september and if they increase the msp especially when fertilizer prices are going up then uh, you can see uh, more procurement happening next year. June and July are the uh, peak season when there is the highest stock in the FCI. But this year it has been low and it will start depleting from now because they need to uh, offload this for various schemes and there is no uh, further procurement coming up. So this will, prices will go up for sure. So India is already exporting around 1.8 million tons of wheat to some countries like Afghanistan, Bangladesh, to meet their uh, food security needs. So if the world demand, then India will have to export more, even though they have banned exports. With the heat wave curtailing output and pushing domestic prices to record highs, the government banned most wheat exports from mid-May. It also reduced the allocation of wheat in the PM Garib Kalyan Yojana and the National Food Security Act. The FCI is also not expected to conduct any open market sales this year, putting pressure on domestic prices. With wheat being a rubby crop, the next harvest is a long time away. The fallout from global and local factors means there is no relief on the horizon for consumers. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. सब अच्छी दिख रही हैं यार कौन सी खरीदूं ये तो वही बात हुई 4000 शेयर्स लिस्टेड है कौन सा लूं वो तो सबसे आसान है तुझे 5 पैसा नहीं पता अब तो सबको पता है 
फाइव पैसा पर है चार हजार स्टॉक्स की रिसर्च टेक्निकल टूल्स और इन्वेस्टमेंट आइडियाज डाउनलोड फाइव पैसा नाउ अब तो सबको पता है इन्वेस्टिंग मेड इजी एंड रिपोर्टिंग विद फाइव पैसा इन्वेस्टमेंट इन सिक्योरिटीज मार्केट आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल द रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स केयरफुली बिफोर इ